Hello viewers, welcome to Animal World. In this video, we are going to talk about 8 peculiar facts about porcupines. Part 1. Porcupines are typecast as prickly, and understandably so. Those long, sharp quills are hard to miss, and they tend to be the main takeaway from any interaction with a porcupine, both figuratively and literally. Yet behind this attention-grabbing defense mechanism, porcupines are also interesting, well-rounded creatures worthy of admiration and respect. Here are a few things you may not know about porcupines, from those notorious quills to the misunderstood animals underneath. Let's begin our today's video. Number 1. The word porcupine means, thorn pig. The English word for porcupines can be traced back about 600 years, when the animal was known as pork de spine. That came from the old French pork espin, which literally translates to, spine hog, from the Latin roots porcus, pig, and spina, thorn or spine. There were also several other variations of the word in Middle English and Early Modern English. In, Hamlet, for example, Shakespeare wrote it as, porpentine. Number 2. There are two distinct families of porcupines. Porcupines are not pigs, of course. They're just big rodents whose stout bodies and blunt, rounded heads look vaguely pig-like. They fall into two main families, Old World Porcupines, Hystracidae, of Africa and Eurasia and New World Porcupines, Erythizontidae, of North and South America. Old World Porcupines are terrestrial and strictly nocturnal, and have longer quills. They include the large crested porcupines, some of which can grow more than 2 feet, 61 centimeters, long and weigh up to 60 pounds, 27 kilograms. They have a skirt of long, pliable quills that can measure 20 inches, 51 centimeters, long, which can stand up in tense situations, making the porcupines appear two or three times larger. New World porcupines are less strictly nocturnal. Some are terrestrial, while others live entirely in trees, with long, prehensile tails to help them balance. Their quills are shorter, and aren't grouped in clusters like those of their Old World counterparts. They tend to be smaller, although the North American porcupine can be 3 feet, 90 centimeters, long and weigh 30 pounds, 14 kilograms. Number 3. They're good swimmers. Both the Old World and New World families of porcupines are surprisingly skillful swimmers. In at least some porcupine species, the air-filled quills on the animal's backs can give them a buoyancy boost as they move through water, like a permanent life jacket. While the quills help it stay afloat, the porcupine propels itself forward with a stroke similar to dog paddling. Number 4. They have long life spans for rodents. Rodents often live fast and die young. They're also highly diverse, though, accounting for about 40% of all mammal species alive today, and some have incredible longevity. Species from chinchillas to marmots to tree squirrels may live for 20 years, and porcupines can stick around even longer. Both porcupine families include some of the longest-lived rodents known to science. The North American porcupine can live for 23 years, while South America's prehensile-tailed porcupine can go four years longer. At least three species of Old World porcupines have maximum lifespans of 27 to 28 years. That's longer than the world's largest rodent, capybaras only live up to 15 years, but it's still rivaled by the tiny and seemingly omnipotent naked mole rat, which can live for nearly 30 years. That's all for today's video see you in the next video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe our channel for more content. Thanks for watching.